What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Guys, you will never guess what's in this. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the Farmer. Want to use the turn when possible? No, we're not. Alright, so here's the deal, y'all. Ever since I got into the isopods, after doing a lot more research, as I keep trying to learn more and more about each of the species that I keep, and right now I do have five cultures, there is, let's see, three, there are three cultures here that actually like meat. And if you don't feed them a protein, they'll start cannibalizing each other definitely don't want that so I went out and got some crickets so those of you that have been longtime subscribers know that I used to breed crickets a long time ago I had bins of them in here I I had a huge cricket operation going on here with breeding them and uh, keeping them up for the bearded dragons but I got rid of all that stuff to make room for my desk and other things so I'm gonna do just a small setup I'm not gonna breed the crickets I'm just going to keep them in a tub like I used to. Same setup, and I'll show you guys that. So, there's not a whole lot of room left in here. There's, I mean, it's all taken up. Most of my space is taken up with racks. So, I have this little space right here, and that's where I'm going to keep them. This is, this is my, my isopod rack is right there. So, I'm going to keep the, keep the, crickets right here uh, I'm gonna show you my setup and I'll link my videos my cricket breeding videos I can link those below if you guys are interested in in that but I'm gonna go ahead and set this tub up there's still a little bit of dirt and dust in here I'm going to wipe down the sides with a paper towel because they feel a little dusty and I don't want the crickets crawling out of here, so let me do that right quick. Uh, I was kind of shocked to, to learn that there are some species of isopods that prefer or like a, a protein. I have a high, high protein need. And uh, I figure keeping crickets is so easy. The only thing is crickets do have a smell, so I will need to be keeping this container pretty clean and change them out pretty often so that's not gonna be a big deal at all I did it with like eight tubs I think I can do it with just this one so first thing I'm gonna put in is an egg crate for them to hide boom there and I use I use these terracotta things here one of them is going to be for water and one for food and I usually use um, high calcium the Fluker's high calcium cricket diet so I'm going to put some of that here uh oh spilling it easy peasy and also I'm going to put some of that Rapashi's Rapashi's bug burger. I'm going to put some of that in there and see how they like that. Also, it'll help gut load them too. I usually take the end of the spoon and my little, some I call them shot cups. <laughs> I got these at the Dollar Tree, but I'll just take my spoon and throw a little dab in here. For the water, I just take, got some sponges from the Dollar Tree and cut it up into four pieces and Put it here, here, and then wet it down. This is just my water from my, um, it's dechlorinated water. I just soak the sponge. So I'm going to take another sponge and dab up some of that water. You don't want any loose water. 
and I'll re-wet the sponge every couple days and when it starts to look dry and they'll come and suck suck the water from this without drowning especially like the babies the babies will drown real quick all right so I got that I got a little bug burger chunk right there in the high calcium diet there and I have some egg crate in there I put a little bit of egg crate in there and now I'm just gonna pop the lid off of this and pour them in I get um, there's a bunch I get a bunch of them from actually I'm gonna take the egg crate out for now so you guys can see how many I get four bucks there's a small uh, mom and pop it's kind of a it's a bait shop plus a hunting shop and they sell like Carhartt clothes and stuff like that and uh, they also had some archery stuff they got they actually have ammo in there too so that's pretty cool but oh my god this stinks all right I'm just gonna pour these guys in Oh, they stink already. Oh, got one escape. I hope it was a female, not a male. Oh boy, I have a lot of dead crickets in there. I kept them in this bucket way too long. I went and got them yesterday, and there's a lot of dead ones in there. Ugh, not good at all. Oh, don't roll. Don't roll. Please don't roll. I don't want to squish any of them. They're not very bright. Alright, let me go ahead and get these guys out. And there's some kind of a beetle, a flying beetle in there. I need to get that out. But the cool place, cool thing about this place is they give you so many crickets. You get a ton of them for four bucks. And um, you're not going to get that many at PetSmart. Boy, there's a lot still alive and there's a lot dead. And I feel so bad about that. I should have um, dumped them in here or set this container up right away. And I didn't. Lean that up against there. And I guess for tonight what I'll do is put the cover on there until they all come out. And then tomorrow I'll take that bucket out of there and clean it. But uh, I'll put, I'll go ahead and put their, their hide in also. Put that in there and let them, let them do their cricketing things. That's my cricket setup. I changed my mind. This bucket stinks so bad I went ahead and dug out all the live ones. There's a few dead ones in there. And I still got tons, so they're really going after that bug burger, which is good. Loving it. And I got quite a few in here, quite a few. So happy about that. All right, so for those of you that are interested in cricket breeding and keep cricket keeping and how I kept keep this uh, bin clean, I'll go ahead and link both of those videos. I think there's two. There might be three. I'll link those videos down below. But um all right, so I'm going to go ahead and put these guys over there in their in their little area and I'll keep you guys up to date on how well the bins doing, how well the the other the isopods are doing. I only fed it for to a few, let's see one, two. I think I gave the crickets to two or three cultures and something that I started doing also was keeping track of who eats what. That way I know what their favorites are, who's going to eat it, and who leaves stuff behind. Because some of the cultures didn't even touch that scrambled egg at all. It was just totally gross and moldy, so of course I took that out. Now the springtails were going crazy for it, but that's what springtails do. They eat any and everything, but isopods don't. So I'll be keeping track of that also and giving you guys my, my successes and unsuccesses as the isopod cultures continue to flourish and grow and I'm going ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put these guys away but any questions on cricket breeding 
Go ahead and link those down below in the comment section and I'll answer them. You guys know I answer every comment that I have. I answer all of them. So, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.